I worked for 17 years as a fashion designer. Had a lot of success with that. And I got on postcard for BB, and I sold to stores like Cache. Did real well. I went with fashion because it was a business. I always wanted to be an artist. I mean, it's necessary to have a passion and drive. Once you lose it, you can't work anymore. And I've gotten to that point. Got to that point in fashion, which is why I left it. It just got to be too much, and it wasn't worth the, the emotional toll. It was a long 17 years, <laughs> and I still look at fashion. I'm fashion oriented because this art is very inspired by fashion. So I started working with tissue paper and layering tissue paper. It was giving it a sheer kind of color, different colors laid over it. After I worked with tissue paper, I started working with paper. And it's paper cut out and it forms the shape of a woman. But I worked the original designs on the computer and I put in the shape of the, the body. And then I start doing the swirls and the cutouts and I do a like a rough draft of it and then I blow it up and I call it painting without paint. I was shopping in a used bookstore and I found a very interesting book about pulp art and the illustrations were beautiful. They're full color and it, pulp art was on pulp paper. That's why it was called pulp art. But it absorbs the color and they're just so vibrant. But when I was looking at the sketches, I, I realized they were of women being abused and terrified. But they're beautiful pictures of women and the women are all curvy and beautiful and the colors are beautiful. So I decided to use that to make a statement about women's sexuality, about how men see women and how they sexualize them. And even though this is material that's like 80 years old, it's still going on because I'm in the fashion field for 17 years. And I realized that had a lot to do with it when women were being photographed, when women were being fitted for garments, they weren't treated like people. They were treated like objects. They were not respected. And um, so I used it, the illustrations, to do collages of women. And I used them on the skin like so that the women were tattooed. I call it Tattoo Me, this series. They're models, but they don't look like humans. They're not supposed to look like humans. They look like dolls. They're plastic. They're what men want them to be. The point of the whole thing was to show that women are objects in men's eyes. Still, still I watch the fashion industry and it's the same thing. It hasn't changed. Women are still being looked at and I mean you look at fashion in magazines. They're just, they're objects. They're not real people. So I wanted to make a point about that. I want people to enjoy them. I mean, yeah, they're, they're brutal in some aspects, but they're also light. They may be in peril according to what's on their body, but they're not frightened, they're blasé, so it's not scary. So it, sh it should be a pleasant experience. It should be something that you look at the words and you look at the images and you absorb it. I mean, without it, you have nothing. Without it, there is really no life for me. I mean, I have to do it. My back was bad, and I shouldn't be standing up, and I stand up to do these. So I don't really care about my back when I'm doing them. Um, 
I'll just deal with it later and put a heating pad on <laughs> because I'm going to stand and I'm going to do what I have to do. Nothing's going to stop me from doing it. 